This here is Bowmore Darkest. It's the only cask um, finish in our core range. Bowmore Darkest is aged for 15 years and this replaces the old Darkest that, that many people will remember that didn't carry an age statement. That was approximately 14 years in age. This one here is at 43%, the same as the, the old one, but it spends 12 years in predominantly American bourbon barrels and then a final finishing three years in the finest hand-selected Oloroso casks from the bodegas of Spain. What this does is this gives you quite a unique character to um, the, this Bowmore whiskey. What you'll get with it is some of the vanillin notes coming through, the sweet, creamy vanilla. You're obviously going to get the smokiness that is typical of a bow more, but you ally that with a dark richness that comes from the European oak and also some slightly drying tannin notes that, again, you would expect from European oak. I think this is a whiskey um, that works very well as a, an aperitif because it's got a lot of dark, rich flavours in it. You've got that smokiness of bow more. But the European oak and the, the vanilla oak from um, North America, it just brings you this perfect harmony of taste where it's a lot darker and spicier than perhaps the 12-year-old. There's a lot of dark sherry notes in there, dark chocolate, cocoa, some raisins, um, some coffee flavours in there with that signature smokiness of um, Beaumore. A little bit less smoky than the 12, as you would expect, because Beaumore, as it ages, the smokiness does taper away slightly, but I think it's important that we try this. At first, we give it a little bit of a spin in the glass, just to coat the sides and just open up the nose. When you take a look at the colour here, you can see it really is quite dark. Um, gives you a good idea of just how complex this whisky is in flavours. When you bring that up to the nose, it's quite dark, it's quite rich. You've still got a little bit of that smokiness that is Bowmore, but here we've got the coffee, some raisins, some chocolate, almost some bittersweet flavours coming through that are coming through from the European sherry oak that we use for the final three years in this finish. Now, three years is a long time for a finish. Um, you, you will see finishes perhaps in industry that have been done for six weeks, 12 weeks, so on. But we monitored the quality of this product and we thought that it really achieved perfection at 15 years, which was that 12 years in the North American oak casks and that final finishing three years in the finest sherry casks. When you taste this, unlike the 12 year old, which you'll feel a lot more towards the front of the palate, with the influence here of the European oak, you're going to find that more towards the back of the palate. It's going to stimulate the bittersweet taste buds. You're still going to get that distinct saltiness that you expect from an Isla malt whiskey. Um, and that smokiness, now rather than being the front punch of the spirit, is going to come through sort of towards the middle of the palate. Lots of chocolate. Um, some dark sherry notes coming through there, that raisin sweetness. You find it more towards the back of the palate now where you get that coffiness and that smokiness just bringing it through. And then it finishes off just with that wonderful salty tang that is a signature of all Bowmore malt um, whiskies. This is one whisky that I would suggest that you probably don't want to add too much water to. When you cask finish a product, you're effectively putting a layer of polish onto the whisky. So here we use two different casks, that's two layers of polish. If we add too much water, what that will do is actually separate apart the cask finishes and it will begin to split and smash the whisky. So of all the whiskies, um, I always say to people, you know, enjoy it the way you like, with water, with ice, straight up. But this one here, I would suggest that you try straight up um, after a good meal um, because too much water could affect the flavour.